Hello children. Once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you know that in the previous video, we started a fresh chapter from the book Moments, class 9 CBSC and that is The Adventures of Toto written by Ruskin Bond. And today is the second video on this chapter. So before we move ahead with the explanation part, let's go for a quick recap. In the previous video, we saw that The Adventures of Toto is an amusing story by Ruskin Bond highlighting the antics of a mischievous monkey. The narrator's grandfather was very fond of animals. One day, he bought a baby monkey from a Tonga driver and named it Toto. Toto was a pretty monkey, but slowly and steadily it became very mischievous. It started damaging things of writer's house. One day, grandfather, who was going to Saharanpur to collect his pension, decided to take Toto along with him. So that was what we discussed in the previous video. And now we'll find out what happens next. So let's start the explanation part of this chapter. Hello children. So we'll start the explanation of this chapter. So in the previous video, uh, the last incident what we discussed was about the grandfather who was going to Saharanpur to collect his pension so he decided to take Toto along with him and now we'll proceed further. Unfortunately I could not accompany grandfather on that trip but he told me about it afterwards. A big black canvas kit bag was provided for Toto. This with some straw at the bottom became his new abode. So the writer is saying that unfortunately he could not accompany his grandfather. Accompany means to go along with. Okay. Accompany means to go along with. So only the grandfather and that monkey Toto, they both were going to Saharanpur. So what happened? The grandfather, after coming back, he told, he narrated this incident to the writer. So what happened? A big black canvas kit bag was taken. Canvas kit bag means a bag that is made of very strong fabric. Okay. Strong fabric means kafi mazboot or mote kapde se bana hua bag that is called canvas kit bag. So a canvas kit bag was taken for that Toto and Toto was kept in that bag and at the bottom of that bag some straw was kept there. Straw means in Hindi we call it sukhi ghas okay that is called straw. So what happened at the bottom of that bag straw was laid there Vahapar sukhi ghas bichadi gai and that bag became Toto's new abode. Abode means new house. Okay. So what is happening here? As you know, he's going to uh, Saharanpur. Grandfather Saharanpur ja rahe hai. Apne saath Toto ko bhi le ja rahe hai. Ab Toto ko kaise le jaye? A canvas kit bag, naya bag liya gaya. Aur usme Toto ko bethaya gaya. Aur us bag ke niche, andar se, andar jo hai, bottom mein, Suki ghas bichai gai taki toto uspe aram kar sake and that whole canvas bag it became a new house for that toto. When the bag was closed there was no escape. 
Toto could not get his hands through the opening and the canvas was too strong for him to bite his way through. Finally, when the bag was closed, there was no space at all. There was no place to escape. Okay. Even Toto could not get his hands through the openings and the canvas was too strong for him to bite his way through. And that bag was so strong that, you know, that Toto was unable to bite it. Na? Dant bhi ni kaat pa, kaat pa ra tha us bag par because that bag was very strong. His efforts to get out only had the effect of making the bag roll about on the floor or occasionally jump into the air. An exhibition that attracted a curious crowd of onlookers on uh, the Dehradun railway platform. See, uh, see, I'll explain this whole part. His effort to get out only had the effect of making the bag roll. Now see, now in this canvas bag, that monkey is there, Toto is there. But Toto is unable to come out. Toto bahar nia sakta bag se. So what is happening? Whenever he is trying to come out or whenever he is trying to move, jab bhi wo bag ke andar hilne ki koshish kar raha hai, to kya ho raha hai? Pura ka pura bag hil raha hai. Okay? Or jab wo andar kudne ki koshish kar raha hai, to literally what is happening? The bag itself is jumping into the air. So this created a kind of exhibition for the people out there, you know, jo log wahan par te us platform par, kaun se platform par? Dehradun railway platform par. For them, it was a kind of exhibition. Exhibition, what do you mean by exhibition? You know, pradarshini. In Hindi, we call it pradarshini. It was a kind of pradarshini for the people, you know. They were watching, you know, this bag. Are kaisa bag hai, you know? Kabhi hil raha hai, kabhi uh, roll ho raha hai bag. So, that was what happening. Uh, then Toto remained in the bag as far as Saharanpur, but while grandfather was producing his ticket at the railway turnstile, Toto suddenly poked his head out of the bag and gave the ticket collector a wide grin. So finally, what happened? Anyhow, the Toto, um, anyhow, Toto was in the bag uh, till they reached uh, Saharanpur, but. When the grandfather was producing his ticket at the railway turnstile. Turnstile means mechanical gate. You, know? you might have seen especially in Delhi, you know, uh, especially at metro station, we have this mechanical gate. You know, the moment you go, all of a sudden it opens. The moment you pass through, once again it closes. Okay, that is called mechanical gate. You know, that is what we call it turnstile. Okay. So there, what happened? Grandfather was literally producing his ticket. He was showing his ticket. And uh, meanwhile, Toto suddenly poked his head out of the bag. Turan sir bahar nikalna, poked means, okay. And gave the ticket collector a wide grin. Grin means broad smile, you know. Ekdam badi muskan, okay. See now what is happening? Uh, grandfather was pretty confident that uh, Toto uh, would, not, uh, would not come out of this bag. But Toto was trying his level best and he was going for again and again and he was attempting to come out of that bag and finally he succeeded and uh, all of a sudden he poked his head out of that bag and he looked at the ticket collector and he gave him a broad smile. Now what is happening here is that the ticket collector was giving his ticket to the grandfather so much that Toto was trying to get out of that bag so all of a sudden what happened? He took his head out of that bag and he took his head out of that bag he succeeded in doing so and the ticket collector was looking at a big smile which is a big smile he gave a broad smile. The poor man was taken aback. Now this ticket collector was not at, not at all ready for this. It was a surprise for him. It was a kind of, you know, so he was astonished for a while. Taken back means surprised. The poor, the poor man was surprised. But with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance, he said, Sir, you have a dog with you. You will have to pay for it accordingly. So what happened? So, but the ticket collector, he uh, he said to that uh, to that grandfather and whatever he said that annoyed the grandfather annoyed means you know state of being irritated gussana chirchidahat hona that is called annoyance so he told grandfather that see you are carrying a dog with you and you have to pay for this dog also okay in vain did grandfather take Toto out of the bag. In vain did he try to prove that a monkey did not qualify as a dog or even as a quadruped. 
Finally, what happened in vain? Vain means worth. In Hindi, we call it worth. Now, grandfather kept on explaining him, see, this is a monkey. This is not a dog. Dog must have four legs because dog is a quadrupped animal. Quadrupped animal means animal that has uh, four legs. So, grandfather kept on saying to the ticket collector, see, this is Toto, this is a monkey, this is not a dog. So, don't call it a dog and don't ask me to pay for this monkey. Toto was classified a dog by the ticket collector and three rupees was the sum handed over as his fare. But the ticket collector was very firm, you know at his decision and he said no it is a dog you have to pay and you have to pay how much three rupees and finally grandfather paid him three rupees um, as his fare fare means kiraya okay in hindi we call it kiraya now i'll explain this what exactly uh, happened here okay now see these you know ticket collectors they have uh, you know they have that rule book okay उनके पास एक रूल बुक होता है जिसमें हर चीज़ की जानकारी हो जानकारी होती है कि अगर आपके पास जो लगेज है जो सामान है वो अगर इतने किलो से ज़्यादा है तो उसका इतना किराया लगेगा ऐसे ऐसे करके जो है उनके पास पूरे डिटेल्स होते हैं सो नॉर्मली व्हाट हैपन्स अमूमन क्या होता है कि लोग जब ट्रेन में सफ़र करते हैं तो बहुत ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा अगर वो अपने साथ किसी को ले जाना चाहते हैं एनिमल्स में तो डॉग को ले जाते हैं आपने देखा होगा या कैट हो सकता है डॉग हो सकता है कैट हो सकता है अमूमन जिसे हम कहते हैं क्वाड्रप्ड एनिमल चार पैरों वाला जानवर लेकिन इट इज़ नॉट वेरी यू नो यूजल और ये बहुत आम बात नहीं है कि समबड़ी इज कैरिंग ए मंकी यू नो टू समेर एल्स और जल्दी ये देखने को नहीं मिलता कि कोई बंदर लेकर जा रहा हो ट्रेन में तो अब उस टिकट कलेक्टर के पास जो रूल बुक है उस रूल बुक में डॉग के लिए किराया लिखा हुआ है लेकिन उस रूल बुक में मंकी के लिए कोई किराया नहीं लिखा अब करें तो क्या करें नाउ द टिकट कलेक्टर वाज इन ए ग्रेट डिलेमा धर्म संकट में टिकट कलेक्टर फंस गए तो उन्होंने कहा कि मान लेते हैं इस मंकी को क्या मान लेते हैं डॉग मान लेते हैं और डॉग मानकर डॉग के हिसाब से जो किराया लगना वो हम चार्ज करेंगे एंड ग्रैंड फादर कैप्ट ऑन सेंग अरे माई गॉड दिस इज नॉट अ डॉग दिस इज नॉट अ डॉग डॉग हैज फोर लेग्स बट दिस इज अ मंकी इट हैज ओनली टू लेग्स बट ऑल इन वेन सब वेयर चला गया टिकट कलेक्टर ने कहा नहीं यू हैव टू पे इट सो फाइनली थ्री रुपीज वॉज पेड बाई द ग्रैंड फादर देन ग्रैंड फादर जस्ट टू गेट हिज ओन बैक टुक फ्रॉम हिज पॉकेट our pet tortoise and said what must i pay for this since you charge for all animals then grandfather what happened just to get his own back okay to get his own back means to take revenge badla lene ke niyat se grandfather ne apni jeb se apni pocket se unhone kya nikala ek paltu kachhua tortoise means you know so he took he took out that tortoise and deliberately purposefully he asked the ticket collector What must I pay for this? Since you charge for all animals, उन्होंने कहा है कि इस इस कछुए के लिए मैं कितना पैसे दूँ तुम तो हर जानवर का पैसा ले रहे हो तो इसका भी बता दो भैया कितना रुपये हुआ ओके सो ग्रैंड फादर वॉज बिट एन ऑयड एंड वॉज यू नो इट वॉज नॉट क्वाइट हैप्पी विद दैट टिकेट कलेक्टर द टिकेट कलेक्टर लुकड क्लोजली एट द टॉ टॉयज प्रोडेड इट विथ हिज फोर फिंगर गेव ग्रैंड फादर ए प्लीज इन ट्राइम्पेंट लुक एंड सेट नो चार्ज इट इज नॉट ए डॉग टिकट कलेक्टर वॉट एपन टिकट कलेक्टर ही लुकड वेरी क्लोजली टू द टॉ टॉयज प्रोडेड प्रोडेड मीन्स टू पोक पोक मीन्स इन हिंदी वी कॉल इट उकसाना ओके किसी को उकसाना बार बार सो वॉट एपन नॉर्मली सो ही प्रोडेड दैट टॉ टॉयज विथ हिज फोर फिंगर एंड देन ही सो इट वेरी क्लोजली एंड देन यू नो विथ ए जॉयफुल लुक ट्राइम्पंट लुक मीन्स जॉयफुल लुक ही सेट नो चार्ज it is not a dog okay you can take it you know i won't uh, charge it charge for it when toto was finally accepted by grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey nana so finally what happened grandfather he came back from saharanpur and he 
narrated this whole incident to the writer Ruskin Bond. So this what happened there. And now finally what happened, Toto finally, Toto was accepted by grandmother also. Initially grandmother was not knowing this fact that Toto was in their house. But anyhow, finally grandmother got ready and she said, okay, fine, Toto uh, could be a member of our family. So finally, when Toto became a member of that family, the grandfather, he took that Toto and finally the Toto was, you know, uh, kept in this stable okay what, uh, what do you mean by stable a place where you know donkey or other animals especially horse you know are kept horses are kept so it was kept there in the stable and uh, with the toto another you know uh, animal was there and that was family donkey called nana so now in this stable two animals were there monkey and the donkey on Toto's first night in the stable, grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable. Now what happened? The first night, pahli raat, Toto ki pahli raat thi us stable, us astabal mein, us uh, donkey ke saath, us gadhe ke saath. So grandfather ne socha hai ki chal ke dekh lete hai, Toto comfortable hai ki nahi, aram se waha par so raha hai ki nahi. To his surprise, he found Nana without apparent cause pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay. So when grandfather went there, he found Nana without apparent cause. Apparent cause means clear reason. Bina kisi wajah ke, wo jo donkey tha, wo bar bar pulling at her halter. Halter means, you know, a rope or strap, okay, around the head of a horse. Lagam. In Hindi we call it Lagam. Okay? Lagam ko Without any reason. Koi karan nahi tha, khich raha tha. And that donkey was trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay. Or wape suki ghas wape dhir tha usya apne sar ko dur rakhne ki koshish kar raha tha. Means the donkey was behaving very strangely. So grandfather gave Nana a slap across her haunches and she jerked back, dragging Toto with her. He had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth. So what happened when grandfather noticed that Nana was behaving very strangely, so he slapped Nana across her haunches. What do you mean by haunches? Haunches means the area, the portion of buttock and thigh considered together, okay, in human beings as well as in animals also. So that portion, you know, actually is called haunch, okay. So what happened? Yaha par jab grandfather ne jo dhire se jo hai ek, uh, unhone chot mari nana ko, ki kyun nana is tarike se strangely behave kar raha hai, kar rahi hai, and she jerked back dragging Toto with her. So the very moment what happened, uh, Nana, she jerked back and she was dragging Toto with her. And what was Toto doing? He had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth. So actually what was happening, this mischievous monkey, ye jo Sharati Bandar Toto tha, isne kya kiya hua tha? Ki apne nukile chote daant उस डोंकी के लंबे लंबे कानों पर गड़ाया हुआ था फासन का मतलब होता है गड़ाया हुआ मजबूती के साथ ओके एंड दैट वाज द रीजन दिस डोंकी वाज बिहेविंग स्ट्रेंजली बिकॉज़ इट वाज यू नो इट वाज अनकंफर्टेबल एंड इट वाज लिटरली यू नो ट्राइंग टू पुल दैट हॉल्टर इट वाज लिटरली ट्राइंग टू कीप इटसेल्फ अवे फ्रॉम दैट यू नो पाइल ऑफ बंडल ऑफ हे and this was the main reason, you know. So literally, Toto was creating problem to that donkey, Nana. Toto and Nana never became friends. So these two animals, they never became friends of each other. So that was all from today's video. I hope everything is quite clear to all of you. So thank you and take care.
Well, my dear children, I think whatever we discussed is quite clear to all of you. Still any confusion, you can ask me in the comment section and I will be responding to your queries. So that was all from this video. Take care and God bless you.